I'll just do a quick video for y'all to uh, show how to replace this uh, shifter. Um, you can see mine's pretty loose. In fact, really, really loose. And um, because the shaft is, you know, steel and this is aluminum, obviously the aluminum's gonna wear faster and that's probably intentional. Um, and, and it really doesn't affect much of anything. I mean, you're not gonna have, well, I say that, um, <laughs> it's unlikely that you'll have major problems out of it being worn like this. Um, this bike does have 28,000 miles on it. And, um, you know, the other owners that had this may have been, you know, really banging on the shifter. I see a lot of guys that ride Harleys um, and guys who ride Japanese bikes too, any bike really, they'll come to a stoplight and they will slam on the uh, shifter to uh, get into first gear. And um, it's just, that, that's absolutely not necessary. I don't care what anyone says. You, you don't have to do that, you know, just, just shift. I mean, it's fine, but I don't know if it's just like they think it's cool. They see other guys doing it and they do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do this video on how to replace this. I got the new one from uh, St. Paul. Um, Harley Buell and um, this was I think $28 plus shipping um, so if you're looking for Buell parts it's a great resource to have and to use um, and uh, it came let's see I ordered it last week so it took because uh, this is Memorial Day or the, the week after Memorial Day weekend um, it took a little longer than, than uh, normal but anyways it's here we're good so I'm going to do a couple things that, that I've uh, kind of had planned out to make my life easier in terms of getting this lined up because it isn't a good position for me in terms of where my foot rests during shifting and uh, how little effort I need to use to, to get the shifting to happen. Now that may change once I put the new one on, but I kind of doubt it. So what I'm going to do is use a Sharpie and you can see that there's some uh, patina on the uh, end of the steel shaft here. So I'm just going to draw a line so I can line it up. Oops, I'm a little crooked there. <laughs> that's like a massive line. Good luck seeing where that's at. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Why are you guys worried about it? Jeez, calm down. I'm always getting tore up over this stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna remove uh, this part of the linkage. Oh, and this is a, a 3 8 inch ratchet with a three inch extension and this is a 530 seconds Allen. Um, and so for you metric guys out there, um, that's exactly 44 stones. Good luck. All right. So you can see if the torque is wanting to pull it up, that'll be fine. I could, I guess I could uh, put it into gear. No, it's just gonna keep going. Never mind. that's kind of worthless. So I'm just gonna, yep, didn't take much effort. Good to go. And um, you might be able to see already that there is some Loctite or thread locking compound uh, on there to be more generic on the end of this, this uh, screw. Um, so I'll be adding some more to that because I do not want this coming loose. You guys saw maybe the other video where this, I lost this thing and that was no fun. Um, so like I said, this adjustment is totally fine. I don't need to make any more adjustments here. That is a little stiff. That doesn't affect how well this is shifting, but I am gonna add a little bit of lubricating oil to these uh, Heim joints. So anyways, all right, let's get this taken care of. This is no more deliberation. And not much effort there either. Uh, and there is a possibility that these, that these um, screws are wear items too, but um, I'll look at them. I, I kind of doubt there's a problem here. We'll uh, continue working this by hand. 
And the, yeah, like I said, these might be metric, these um, Allens, but this 5.30 seconds is um, good to go. Hey, did you know that 15 sixteenths of the world uses the metric system? But you didn't know that. Did they teach you that in metric school? Probably not. I don't know, it's so difficult not to look smug at this point. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, um, keep going here. Dang, that thing is on there. That's a long little screw. And there's some uh, good gunk on there. I need to take care of that really quick. Let me get a rag. That looks like some uh, kind of a mixture of um, anti-seize and Loctite. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It might just be anti-seize. Let me get, let me get this quick. Right, um, so I'm back. Um, I just used a rag, um, shop towel rag, and then uh, sprayed it down with uh, some brake clean to get threads mostly cleaned out. That was definitely some, um, some. it was, it was an, a mixture of anti-seize compound and um, thread locker. So, and there's some anti-seize still remaining on the shaft. So I'm not gonna add any more. Um, I don't think it's necessary. That is probably just to prevent the two metals from you know, corroding and, and getting stuck. So now what I have to do is attempt to line up this line with a giant, giant line that I painted on there. Wow, that's, that's nice. And that's much, <laughs> as you can see, I don't even have the bolt tightened down yet. And that is a lot better. So let's see where we're at in terms of, if I need to move down or up or whatever on the, uh, orientation that looks about right um, let me try just messing around here and going maybe a little further up on the splines um, honestly I think that's about the same so I'm gonna leave it as is and if I need to move it again no big deal I can do that so let me add um, just a little bit of um, some blue permatex to not permatex like the sealant, the blue thread locking compound, just a little bit on the end. And as I work the threads through, um, that should continuously or evenly coat everything down as I keep going. I'm sure a lot of it will end up at the top, but it's, you know, it's really just a preventative measure. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it ended up at the top, but it's, it's threading in easy. This is a quality. Um, so as I tighten this down, I'm hoping that the clamping force will start to lock it down. Um, that sure went in awful easy. A lot easier than it came out. So let's see. I'm going to use my hand at first and see if I have enough torque to tighten any. Not very, not very much. So let's just use the head of the ratchet. I don't want to put any um, extra stress on this. So I'm just going to grip it from here so I have less torque than if I were to go all the way out to the end of the ratchet. And that seems to be okay. And I'm sure that, yeah, see, it's, it's actually stopping. And that's it. You can see now there is no movement in that. That's awesome, man. That's going to be a very nice positive shift. And that's it. I, um, I feel like that, I mean, that the, the, the nut has stopped moving. It's not going any further. So, all right. Today on the internet, we learned how to tighten stuff. All right. So this is, uh, this one's, the threads on this are clean, so I'm going to go ahead and add just a smidge of thread locker to the end of this to uh, prevent this from coming out. You can see it's very, very thin coat, and um, that should be plenty in addition to, you know, whatever torque is applied 
to the threads during uh, tightening. So I'm just kind of working it back and forth to make sure I'm not cross-threading. And um, what you don't want to do is just go for it with a ratchet. So I'm gently going to use my, just the socket and the extension and it's going in super easy. So we're good. And then I will, just like this, I'm just going to use the head and that's it. And then the thread locking compound will take care of the rest. That's a tiny um, bolt, so it doesn't need a lot of torque. And you can see now we had all that slack before. Now there's, we have no lateral movement anymore. We did before and vertical movement. We only, now we only have the slack that's here at this pivot point really. And what's in the, Heim joints. So yeah, man, that's, that's great. That's good stuff. That will make that, that experience of shifting that much better. So until next time, peace out, keep it between the ditches.